I think many of our listeners will be sort of at the academic stage, either on a law degree or maybe um, slightly later on the professional courses. Um, is there any advice for those students in terms of the, re the relevant skills that's required to be a, a criminal lawyer? Yeah, I mean, advocacy is first and foremost. Um, I mean, advocacy is the key to being a successful uh, barrister, whether you're at the criminal bar or the civil bar or the chancery bar. Um, oral advocacy is more important in crime. Um, so any experience you can get, if you can get involved in mooting, which hopefully you'll be involved in the national speed mooting competition if you're listening to this. Um, that was my first uh, it, moot outside of university. Um, so any mooting experience you can get, that's really, really beneficial. Um, but even just joining the debate society, that's still practicing advocacy, albeit in a different format. Um, if you can have the opportunity, obviously every university is different. Uh, we had the Legal Advice Centre at Manchester University. Um, so if you can get involved with some pro bono work, that's going to give you the opportunity to interact with clients, which is really important, uh, having those interpersonal relationships and being able to speak to clients and relate to them and explain the law in a, in a way that they understand um, are really crucial skills and that will stand you in good stead for any applications. Yeah, completely agree with that. Uh, you know, being involved in a law clinic or um, I, I was involved with the Citizens Advice Bureau, it's a really good way of um, showing that you've got extra interests outside of university um, and also you're getting the chance to be one-on-one -on -one with clients delivering advice, which is what you do as a lawyer, whether it's, as you say, in crime, civil, whatever it might be. It's a really good way of building up those skills um, and, and also you'll tend to find on most application forms the question comes in um, what roles or responsibilities have you had and um, so it's a good way of ticking that box as well so I think that's great advice there Ella.